Hello, today we're going to talk about work done. Now, work done is essentially, or work is done, whenever a force is applied to an object and that makes the object travel over a distance. So it's three components, it's the force applied, the distance traveled, and those two together make up the amount of work that is done. So if I have to apply a bigger force to an object, say I used a, I was trying to push a larger box around, um, but I travel the same distance, then the work done is going to be larger. If I have the same size object, but it has to go half as far, well then the work done is going to be half as large. Now, just to give this as an example, or this is the definition rather of work done. So work done is the energy transferred when a force moves an object through a distance. So throughout this video, I'm going to use orange to highlight distance, and I'm gonna use green to highlight force. And I think you can already guess, but I'm gonna be using pink to highlight work done. Now work done, is essentially the same as the amount of energy that is transferred. So you might see either kind of uh, language used in a question, but if, if a question involves a force and a distance and they're asking you for the energy transferred or the work that is done, you'll be using the same equation. So work done, the equation for it is that work done equals the force applied multiplied by the distance traveled. Work done is in joules, force applied is in newtons, and the distance is in meters. In short form, you could write W equals F times S. Now, I'm gonna show you an example of a question that requires this equation. So, some kids drag a tractor tire five meters over the ground. They pull with a resultant force of 340 newtons in the direction of motion. Find the work done to move the tire. So let's highlight the physical quantities mentioned in the question. So we have five meters. Some kids drag a tractor tire five meters. So there is our first quantity. We've got five meters. It's a distance over the ground. They pull with a resultant force of 340 newtons. So there's our second physical quantity, 340 newtons in the direction of motion. Find the work done to move the tire. So this is what it's asking you for. It's asking you for the work done. I don't know why I just highlighted that in orange when I said I would be doing it in pink. So the one that it's asking you for is the work done. So just like with any question, you're gonna to have to remember your equation. The formula for, for work done was work equals force applied over a distance. So let's just put our numbers from the question into the equation and see what we get. Now our distance was five meters. So there's our five meters. And our force was 340 newtons. Now, because this is in meters and newtons, I don't need to change any of the units around to make them into meters or newtons, which makes this a lot easier. And at this point, I get my calculator out and I go, okay, what's 34 times five? Now, I don't have a calculator at hand, so I'm probably gonna have to do this the long way around. Oh dear, 340 times five, that gets you zero, that gets you 20, that gets you so 1,700. So our final answer is 1,700 joules. And as ever, you've got to remember to put that unit in. So the work done to move the tire was 1,700 joules. Um, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, do either leave a comment underneath or, mess or speak to me in school. Um, and as ever, next lesson, there'll be a few questions based on this idea of work done for you to work on. Bye.